Tara Hansen was 29, active, and on top of the world about her first child, Brandon. Hi, Brandy Bear. But within hours of giving birth, she didn't feel well. She told her husband, Ryan, and medical staff. Did she tell doctors? She did. We just were never able to kind of push the needle to the point where somebody said, we need to do more. Six days later, Tara died of an infection. It's just, it's very hard to, to understand. It's an alarming trend. The U.S. has the worst maternal mortality rate in the developed world. At least 700 women die every year from pregnancy or childbirth. Some 65,000 nearly die. Serena Williams says she was almost a statistic. After giving birth, the tennis star was diagnosed with blood clots, but only after she repeatedly insisted doctors do a CT scan. African Americans are particularly at risk. We're significantly behind other advanced nations and uh, we're really not sure of the reason why. Possible factors, women having babies later, lack of access to care, or doctors not paying enough attention to the mother's health. A stunning 60% of childbirth related deaths in the U.S. are preventable. New York Presbyterian Columbia just opened a first of its kind mother center practicing for emergencies and pushing for statewide reporting to better understand maternal deaths. Ryan Hansen now runs a foundation to increase awareness while raising seven-year-old Brandon, never forgetting the mom they lost. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, New York. These are alarming statistics. I want to bring in Dr. John Torres. What should patients, women, be aware of when they go to the hospital? Well, there are steps new moms can take. And first off, three of the biggest concerns during and even a few weeks after delivery to watch are blood loss, high blood pressure, and fevers. Your doctor should be monitoring for this, so go ahead and ask them about it. Then keep mom and baby together unless there's a medical reason to separate them. That skin-to-skin -skin contact can help reduce mom's chances of excessive bleeding. And finally, if you notice even small symptoms, report it to your medical team and ask for an exam. And always have someone with you as an advocate who will help ask those questions and press doctors for more than just, she's fine as an answer. If it doesn't feel right, say something. Let them know. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.